Mashiach, who will redeem us, is called a melech. The interesting thing is that when we talk about a melech being appointed, the Rambam rules in the beginning of Hilchus Malachim, Ein ma'amidin melech betchila, we do not appoint a king, Ella al pi bezdin shal shivim zikenim, only by virtue of a Sanhedrin, of a bezdin comprised of 70 elders, va'al pi novi. The proof? Ki Yehoshua, shemino meish rabbeinu, like Yehoshua, who was appointed by Moshe Rabbeinu. The Rebbe points out that we cannot emphasize Moshe Rabbeinu's malchus or learn from it because this was prior to the notion of the giving of mitzvahs. The first person ever appointed as a melech is Yehoshua. Yet surprisingly, when the Rambam talks about the actual coming of Mashiach, he states clearly, Ya meid melech, a king will rise, mi beis David. Who will install Mashiach as king. It doesn't say that the Sanhedrin will be formed prior. The Rebbe suggests, clearly, we must understand that the Melech Malchus here is not the Melech that the Rambam talks about in a typical sense, but Yamid Melech is that the king himself will rise, not as we had discussed it prior in Halacha. Why might this be? The Sefer Minchas Chinuch suggests that when it comes to the notion of Mashiach, it's eminently possible that Mashiach will not need to be anointed altogether. The truth is, both of the halachas come together. We learn that a melech has to be anointed and that that anointment and appointment has to be by virtue of a Sanhedrin. But ultimately, the Mechazchinuch suggests that we don't have the Shem and Hamishcha and so Mashiach will not have to be anointed. And that's because he will be Mizera David Ushleimai. He will come from the seed of David HaMelech and Shlomo HaMelech. Dor achar dor, generation following generation. And Imkain, he says, Hamalchus Yerushalay. Then he is the inheritor to the crown. And as such, Ein Tzarech Meshicha. Perhaps that's also the reason he won't need a Bezdin or he won't need a Navi. It should be noted though that the Rebbe clearly stated on Shabbos Parshas Pinchas in Tav Shemem Dalet in 1984, that these halachas that speak about the imyameid melech is only if the order of the geula will follow its natural state. However, if we merit the coming of Mashiach with what's known as achishena, so then Mashiach will come in the blink of an eye without this entire process having to unfold. May it be speedily and in our days. Amen.